in this lesson we will cover validation so what action to take when a certain type of input is entered into the controls we'll consider a text box so we'll take this and uh, then we'll put button submit and then we'll also we'll create a copy of this and we'll call this one as reset okay so uh, we'll we'll try to okay now when we run this and oh there's a mistake uh, we will change the default text we don't want user to input uh, submit a blank uh, text okay so this we call as uh, text input one button rename button submit and this will be button reset okay so now the first uh, one of the techniques is to put an icon so put an icon icon will take a cross icon we'll make it small and we'll make its color to be 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 red or ed red okay now this icon uh, this icon we will uh, change the icon when uh, depending on the validation we will make it uh, visible and uh, uh, this icon will not be visible if it is uh, uh, if it's a valid text so if let's we'll make a check here if is blank text input one text input one dot text it is blank text input dot text comma we'll make it icon dot cancel okay now the default icon okay will okay so now uh, we'll put a button submit and uh, then we'll put a variable visible okay so this will be visible only when the variable visible is true variable visible variable visible variable visible okay we haven't yet set the variable okay so don't worry we are going to set it now when we click this update context now we better put those two back okay if is blank text input INP input one dot text if is blank test input dot text then we'll make it oh on select we will make up 
content context variable variable visible colon if is blank then it will be true we have to show it when it is uh, blank and false if is blank decimal comma update context then uh, start bracket variable visible colon if is blank text in coupon or text comma it will be true otherwise false then bracket semicolon then bracket bracket and bracket update context on pressing of button update context then what are we missing variable visible colon are we missing something is blank then text input one dot text comma true otherwise it will be false that is correct then this is the variable visible and uh, that's it on select we are setting this variable visible and this will be variable visible now what are we missing here update context then we are variable visible space here colon if there was a typo there 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 and I'm going to send you the formula so you don't have to go through all the pain. Oh. Oh, we are setting the wrong property variable. Not here. Not here. <laughs> this is not needed. Variable visible of this guy. Oh. This uh, icon visible. Yeah. Not this one. This button visible should always be true. Okay, that's a small mistake, typing mistake. And then what we have to do in the reset button, uh, we are going to do reset text input one. Text input one. And then we are going to do update, update context. Update context and we do this. Let me call in. Open close brackets. And then we are going to set our variable visible to what? Variable visible to false. False, 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 false. Okay, let's test this. Submit, it's blank. Recent, we type something. Submit, no error. We delete this. Submit, error. Reset. Reset, submit. We type something here. It will go. So this is about doing a validation of or blank on a text input. So this icon is will be visible on when the variable visible is true and when we check here on submit on submit 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 on select uh, we are updating context we are setting this variable we are checking if it is blank then we uh, update context this variable is assigned to true else it's false and reset is doing the opposites 
it's making it to false and it's also resetting the text input. So this is about validation using icon.